The issue is dividing the town because people really don't want it to be moved, they like it right where it is. And I think people probably will get vocal about it. It's controversial, absolutely. There's not many of these in the whole state. It's not very spectacular as far as I'm concerned. I really don't think it's a problem. We don't have a lot of things and are we going to worry about that? It's been here for 82 years. Maybe it's time for a change. This would be just one of those things you'd say, oh no, not Dungal Council again. It's usually a male thing. It's a fantastic bloody visual thing. It needs some tender loving care. We could be a little bit off centre. We don't want to look like every other town in New South Wales. Well, I think some things are worth it. The issue is dividing the town because the monument was built in 1927, so it's been here for 82 years, and people really don't want it to be moved. They like it right where it is. Maybe that change has been initiated by the fact that the new road's been done, the new surface in the, in the main street, and uh, I believe it's out of alignment a little and upsetting people. But maybe now's the time to do something about it. Because it's not in the middle of the road. Instead of moving the road, no, instead of moving the obelisk, they moved the road. Cheaper. Moving the, the monument a metre from where it is, which is a very... Uh, it's controversial, absolutely, I think, in the community. The only other alternative I've heard is actually moving the monument completely from the intersection and having it on a footpath. Uh, or moving it from that site completely to go to a corner somewhere, which gives it no relevance at all. For them to move the obelisk would be just one of those things you'd say, oh no, not Dungal Castle again, and let's get somebody in and take it over, hey? Because I'm not in for it. A great town, but you've got a people like them who are going to stuff it up on us. So. That's my opinion on anything to do with Elpis. We can have fun with it, but don't do movement. It's quirky, it's where it is, it's off centre, and it's always been there. It's not causing anyone any problems. It's a traffic hazard because um, when I was on my L's and when a lot of people on the L's, they don't really know how to go through it or go around it because about half this population thinks it's a roundabout and then the other half think it's a four-way intersection. Semi-trailers and B-doubles can get around the monument the way it is. Um, so it doesn't have to be moved. I, I do think it has to be a roundabout. If it's going to be there, it needs to be a roundabout for safety. The thing I think would be good with the monument would be if it was made into a nice roundabout so all those huge trucks can't actually get into our main street and that would stop that local heavy traffic coming up and down the street, which is a very busy street and we need to keep it safe for our families and our children. There might be the few odd accidents but there are accidents on every corner and at every intersection. I only know of two accidents um, that have happened down there and uh, not much else. A, a guy was driving down there one night after leaving the hotel and slammed right into it. Didn't move the monument. He broke a few limbs, but uh, it's still there. I've always known it as being called the monument, but other people call it the obelisk. I think it's just personal preference. Obelisk. Monument. Obelisk. The monument. The obelisk. Monument. It's a roundabout. Monument. It's a traffic hazard. It's the directional point. It's a fantastic bloody visual thing. The Dungog icon. The thing in the middle of the road. I think the monument would be more of a tourist attraction if it was like hot pink, like the Dungog sign up at Hollywood. What about a statue of... Uh the last of the green guy Aboriginals that lived in the district. We could have um, different themed things with it. Um, when the Mardi Gras is on in Sydney, we could have uh, a theme there and use some of our other characters. And then when they want to have our film festival, we'll have lots of different movie stars off it and our own local one who lives here. Wouldn't that be great? No, I haven't had any experiences myself on the obelisk, but I'm sure people have. There has been many a time when there's been a buck show in Dungog and the groom has been tied up to the monument with a ball and chain and left there overnight. I've seen the poor victim chained or roped to the, uh, to the monument, much to the uh, enjoyment of his so-called mates. It's part of Dungog, absolutely. What would I put in its place? A cross, I don't know. <laughs> uh, a cross, yeah. I don't think visitors have a problem with the monument. Um, it's known as a bit of a Dungog icon, that directions are always given from the monument. Turn left at the monument, go straight through the monument. Because of the keep left sign, it's a little confusing because I think it means you've got to turn left all the time, but it's just keep to your left. 
<laughs> it means that I can tell people directions, which is a wonderful thing to have at the end of the street. If you look at the signs on the, on the monument, they're pointing in the wrong direction, I think. The monument is part of Dungog. It's quirky and it, it sits there at the end of a quirky Dowling Street, our main street. And it, it's something that, you know, that we know as Dungog. The monument is Dungog. Ah, no, it's pretty good. Tells you north, south, east, west. Ah, no, it's Dungog. <laughs> north, south, east or west, <laughs> I would imagine. I just go home. <laughs>